Hello again, maple lovers. Um, Carl here. Just looking at some um, maples. Had a had a walk around my garden the other day. Um, out of leaf, really, and some of the really very best ones that, that uh, caught my eye. So here we have the wonderful Sangu Kaku. Um, not only has this given me a fantastic display all summer, um, but look at this bark. Absolutely classic. Um, and really, a really nice feature in the garden. Adds that sort of nice splash of, splash of very vivid colour. So uh, just one to definitely keep an eye out for. And moving along with that, you've got by who here. So we've got the red, we've got the yellow. And as you see in the video here, it's gone a lovely sort of yellower shade as you moved up the tree to the newer growth. It's sort of slightly more pinkish, but really interesting color coloration. And again, just just proves that maples aren't, aren't just for the winter, just for the summer season. They do really well over the winter season too. And of course, if you've got the um, red and the amber, then you've got to have the green to go with it. So going green and another classic. And these actually you find in, in garden centres and nurseries um, that are open and, and being sold over the winter. So they're kind of a clever choice for the garden centres to stock, but uh, do look lovely. And it's not just the colours, I think, that's really interesting about Japanese maples. Um, any of the dissectums, and this is uh, garnet here, I just think with this kind of um, weeping habit, is kind of fascinating really and the older they get the the more they can tort and go in various directions so I, I just think they're quite attractive um, for their for their habit and their form really another tree that's done really well for me this year is this uh, Jerry Swartz so I just like the little buds on it all over it uh, you've got red bark there you've got green yellow it's kind of a, a traffic light of colors in its own right really um, and it's interesting that, that, you know, the age of the branches doesn't seem to matter. It's sort of a, a massive variation with some being different colours. So just enjoying the sort of sheer variety that's there, to be honest. And then heading on from there, really, to sort of looking at the um, nature and the habit of the trees again. This is um, a Twombies, Twombies Red Sentinel. And you, I've never seen this shown at a leaf, I don't think, on, on any videos or anything like that, or still pictures. But I think it's kind of fascinating how the uh, this tree's going to be many times taller than it is wide, and how short and stubby the little leaves are, and I thought, uh, the little branches, sorry. Uh, I just thought that's a bit, a bit interesting. As is the red flamingo here, with some really excellent um, colour on its bark. And it's just amazing how, as you go up the tree, the new growth um, is, is hardy, it's not died back at all, but it's this lovely vivid pink colour, which is something uh, really, really unusual. And uh, yeah, we're really glad I've got this one, to be honest. It's, it's, it's quite unique. And also just mentioning uh, another favourite of mine, um, Okashimo. So I just mentioned this because it's only just dropped its leaves and it's in December in the UK. That's kind of crazy. Um, it's a very tall upright tree and just in including something that's going to give sort of winter interest later in the year because it really does hang on to its leaves um, and they, they look rather pretty as sort of some yellow and some green and still going strong there and then lastly um, this Katsura again I can't remember it being this pink last year but these things happen and I just think it's really pretty to be honest with you a nice sort of upturned vase habit and very very dense branching in all different directions once again you can see the sort of centre um, branches little branches there sort of die off which actually sort of encourage it to sort of spur off in different uh, two different directions really so it all works uh, very very well so I do hope you enjoyed my little tour of the garden there um, just the maples that really stood out to me in terms of colour and shape etc of course if um, you'd like any more videos done on a particular topic um, or indeed, if you've got any favourite um, maples in the winter that you particularly like, then please do let me know. Um, I'm always keen to, to hear other people's opinions. Um, and hopefully we can include that in, a, in, in another video. So many thanks. Um, thanks to those that have subscribed already. And to those that don't, I hope you all subscribe and like this video. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.